The case against the South Bay teacher accused of sex crimes involving two former students now carries a bigger possible sentence. Our Zara Barker starts us off live outside the South Bay Courthouse with what's transpired inside that courtroom today. Zara. Yeah, hi, Kathleen and Andrew. Good afternoon to you both. Minutes ago, 34 year old former teacher of the year, Jacqueline Ma, was arraigned on even more severe charges, according to the deputy district attorney. Of course, all of this coming as she currently faces 21 felony counts. The charges levied against the South Bay Teacher of the Year just became more incriminating. 34 year old Jacqueline Ma crying as she walked into the courtroom Tuesday. She had already pled not guilty to the 11 felony counts of lewd acts on a child, but now prosecutors say they found more information on the case and changed the counts to lewd acts under duress. She pled not guilty once again. The court held, found that there was probable cause that the not just that the six act, sex act occurred, but that they occurred under duress, which makes them forcible sex acts. We argue that this was under a threat of hardship to this child. In other words, if he did not go along, things were going to get tougher for him. And so that is what we believe to be duress. Deputy District Attorney Drew Hart says the change charges carry more prison time as Ma has already been facing life behind bars. There's a value in calling something like it is. Um, so we don't just charge things based on what we think we can get out on jail time or prison time. We charge thing based charge criminal charges based on what they are. And it's important that the charging document and convictions reflect the actual conduct, especially in a case like this where we have someone who's in a position of trust. In her prior court appearance, prosecutors read through disturbing messages detailing her sexual relationship with an 11 and 12 year old boy. Ma had been a fifth and sixth grade teacher in the National School District for a decade before her arrest. In a case like like this, where you have a public figure that has access to children, there's a lot of um, public confidence that we have in teachers and other people in those positions, and so it's important to hold these people accountable. And if Ma is convicted on all felony charges that she's currently facing prior to today, it would have been about 165 years to life behind bars. And now with those more severe felony charges, that sentence would technically be up to about 185 years to life behind bars. She's set to be back inside a courtroom here in the South Bay next month. Reporting live in Chula Vista, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. All right, Zara, thank you for being our eyes and ears out there.